Starting off with one of the world's most recognisable monuments, Stonehenge is situated in Wiltshire, England. It's composed of huge earthworks surrounding a circular arrangement of monumental standing stones. Now, radiocarbon dating places the structure at around 5,000 years old, and evidence indicates that it was rebuilt and altered quite consistently over a period of more than a thousand years. Theories abound about its purpose, everything from celebratory to ritual, druidic to alien, and all these ideas have been posited, but no one has been able to say for sure what Stonehenge was actually for. Scarra Brae, which sits nestled on the Orkney Islands north of Scotland, is a perfectly preserved set of dwellings which can tell historians much about Neolithic life in Scotland. Thought to be around 5,000 years old, the purpose of the small settlement is obvious, but the reason for its abandonment? Less so. After being uncovered from beneath the sands blown from Orkney's coastal dunes over thousands of years, Scarra Brae still has many secrets to give up, chief among which is the reason for its abandonment. Was it the sand which buried it, which caused its residents to leave, or did something more catastrophic befall its Stone Age residents? Most buildings in the United States are able to trace their original purpose, but Newport Tower, which sits in Toro Park in Newport, Rhode Island, remains something more of a mystery. The most commonly suggested theory is that the tower is all that remains of a windmill built on the site by early settlers in the 1600s, but many other theories surrounding the tower cast doubt as to whether Christopher Columbus did indeed discover America. These other theories suggest construction by Vikings, the Chinese, and even the Knights Templar hundreds of years before Columbus's discovery might be entertaining, but radiocarbon dating supports the windmill theory most closely. Those won't stop people questioning and excavating and debating, though. We may never really know for sure the true purpose of the Newport Tower. In 1922, around the time of the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb, English archaeologist Rex Engelback discovered one of ancient Egypt's most mysterious monuments of the ancient Aswan Quarry. Had it ever been erected, this 42-metre tall obelisk would have stood taller than a 10-storey building, and it's thought that work on it was abandoned due to cracks which formed while the stonemasons were carving it out of the bedrock. But the real mystery here is how the obelisk actually got moved, weighing in at more than 1,200 tonnes, which would be very difficult for modern cranes to move. Very few would actually be capable of lifting this to an upright state. So how did the ancient Egyptians plan on doing it? They were probably aliens, like in Stargate. Great film. These massive heads, carved from basalt borders, are found at various sites in the former Olmec heartland in both Mexico and Guatemala. It's believed that many of these are representations of important figures within the Olmec tribal structure, with each head possessing different facial characteristics while still maintaining the same features as many of the Central American peoples who are descended from them. The Olmec disappeared over 2,000 years ago and these mysterious heads are among the only clues as to who they were and how they lived. On the outskirts of the German town of Gossek, there is a huge circular ridge around 250 feet in diameter, which is thought to be the remains of an ancient observatory. Carbon dating has placed the structure at around 7,000 years old, and the only way to ascertain its function was to examine its gateways, which point precisely towards sunset, sunrise, and north, because why not? Archaeologists also found evidence of human sacrifice, indicating that the mysterious observatory likely served some religious ritual purpose as well. Very little is known about the society which built the observatory, making it one of Germany's biggest prehistoric mysteries. In one of the most remote countries of the world, the Federated States of Micronesia, lies a mysterious settlement. The city of Nan Madol, often referred to as the Venice of the Pacific, dates back almost a thousand years and is made up of a series of artificial islets connected by canals. With the remoteness of Ponme Island upon which it sits, very little is actually known about the people who created these monolithic structures which are thought to be too heavy to be lifted without mechanical aids. One theory suggests that Nan Madol was a palace complex designed to separate royalty from the common folk 
but many local myths and legends suggest its origins may be steeped in sorcery and black magic. The stones having been flown in, of course, by magic spells. It's more likely, though, that they were brought in using specially made rafts, if we're being honest, but still, black magic. Oh, it's all a bit Temple of Doom. Evidence of an entire sunken city has been found in the Gulf of Kamba, just off the coast of India. Several structures, all of which appear to be man-made, have been uncovered since the initial discovery in 2001, and evidence of pottery and other cooking materials have since been dredged. Evidence of pottery. I like that. One piece of wood found in the city was radiocarbon dated at about 9,500 years, suggesting that this sunken city may be thousands of years older than India's next oldest city. And while there are many who will not entertain the theory based on the date of one piece of wood, the discovery is still one of the most intriguing in the world. Was there an old India before India? Is it all underground? Who knows? The Gulf of Kambat isn't the only mysterious underwater structure. In 1987, strange formations were discovered off Yonogumi Island, Japan's westernmost inhabited island. The formations seem to form staircase-like structures, with parallels and sharp edges leading many to speculate that the monument might in fact be man-made. There are many who dispute this claim though, suggesting that it's perfectly reasonable to believe that the formations are natural, but some claim that it is artificial and likely carved over 2,000 years ago. The faces of the statues on Easter Island are often used to illustrate alien mysteries, claiming that extraterrestrials left these heads, perhaps to illustrate their own culture, or maybe just as a fun, kooky gift. Anyway, perhaps the most mysterious thing about these, though, is that these giant statues aren't merely heads. Almost all of them have bodies, and most of them were never erected and were instead just left in quarries. They're often connected to alien conspiracies, but another outlandish theory states that they are all that remains of an ancient civilization of the Mu, at the peak of an underwater mountain. The truth is that no one really knows what happened to the people who built these strange statues. <laughs>